my sensors indicate a new episode of Dave's Vintage Apple Tech has just been uploaded. Hi, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech. And last video we did, uh, we are going to order a refoam kit for these speakers because they're all rotted. And uh, it's going to be a while before I get those because those are coming from overseas. So with all this stuff going on in the world, it's going to take a long time to get these. So I found something on eBay that just, I was totally shocked. And what I have in my hand here are these guys here, the Apple Pro speakers. However, this is new old stock. Um, the only difference is we have to put a connector on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to transplant these because I'm going to show you just in a second here. Hang on just a second. Let me get it out of here. Okay. So here you go, guys. Look at this. This is new old stock. The foam is just absolutely in pristine condition there hopefully you can see that and it is not rotted or or deformed and again uh, these are new old stock these will work on either the iMac G4 or the Mac power uh, G4 cube my difference is obviously the connector the cube needs USB power these plug in the other way on the, uh, the iMac so anyway yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you we're going to take these off because I want to transplant the whole enclosure and everything on these. So we will take the speakers off the G4 wiring harness and then I'm going to show you how to do that. I'll show you how to take them apart and then we're going to put run the wires back in here and we're going to solder it back on the speakers and then close it back up and then we'll try it out and see how it works. It should work beautiful. But these are the hardened Cardon speakers. They are the real deal. They're not imitations. These things are heavy, just like the other ones. All I mean, I closely examined them. Got the same part number on the speakers and everything. So it is the real deal. Uh, the eBay seller, I'll show you a link here real quick. He still has 10 of these available as this video is being shot. The only thing that's on here is my fingerprints on here. I'll take that off. But uh, yeah, so he's got 10 available. When I do the listing, I'll have a link on it. It'll take you right to the site. So if you want to pick up a pair of these, one thing you have to do is just put the connector on the end of it to make it work. All right? This is a fantastic deal. So anyway, so we're going to go out in the garage and we're going to dismantle these and show you how we uh, put these, uh, take them apart and put them back together. It's going to be going to be fun. Okay? See you in a minute. And here's the uh, listing. This is where I got it. And you can see right now, as this video is being shot, he still has uh, 10 available, more than 10 available actually. And uh, that's what I got. And uh, look at the price, $19.95 with tax, it was like $21 uh, free shipping. And like I said, these um, are Apple Pro speakers. These were used either on the G4 Cube or they are used on the regular iMac, uh, G4 iMac. Um, and you can look down here. And I'll have a video link on my website about more. Yeah, but you can see they're, they got like old style connectors on them. But all you do is just basically you can either unsolder them from the uh, enclosure here. You can unsolder it here, which is what we're going to do. Or you could do it at the plug where it hooks in. Now, obviously, if you need to put a new connector on the end of it, you've got to do that. But these are the these are the hardened cardon speakers, and these have the front uh, covers on them too, the bezels on them, and those pop right off real easy. The ones I got don't have them on there, but it doesn't affect the operation of it. Just the cosmetics that makes it look a lot nicer. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna be uh, basically taking the speakers off the new ones I got and we're going to be putting it on the ones I got and I'm going to basically just because I want the enclosures too because these enclosures they're they're brand new they're meant there's not a speck on them not a scratch they're beautiful and uh, yeah so like I said I'm going to put a link on my video and uh, hopefully you guys can uh, find some and uh, it's just uh, I, I just accidentally happened on this uh, this uh, listing here but uh, yeah so uh, we'll uh, we'll go back to the uh, 
video here and we're going to show you how to take the things apart and uh, solder them and put them back together and then we'll test them. Okay guys, so we're out here in the garage and uh, if you hear a little background noise it's because of the noisy fluorescent lights. I'll try to cut most of the out on the video. I'll try to filter a lot of the audio out on it to clean it up. But anyway, so these are the um, the cube speakers for the G4 Power Mac. And um, so anyway, uh, what we're going to do is we need to, what we're going to do is we're going to take the sp speaker out, unsolder it, and then that way we can put the new ones on it. And so anyway, um, I've already started taking these apart. And so these little, these are, these are aluminum. And what you have to do is you have to unscrew these, and there's a little rubber grommet, and that's what keeps it from sliding. So is this, uh, there's a plastic thread inside this acrylic, and you can see the, the threads right there. And so anyway, that all goes in there, and it's like a compression. So as that goes in there, it kind of squeezes that grommet just a little bit there. It's pretty tight fitting already. So anyway, what we're going to do is, uh, see, now that we got that off, when we take these three little screws out, we'll be able to pull the speaker out and then we'll be able to unsolder it. And I went ahead and did this side already and I had to make a special tool using an old fork. You know, basically what it does is it fits into these three and all you gotta do is just rotate it. And what I do is I stick it in there. I'll, I'll show you on other ones here when we do those. But then you're just gonna have it there. You're gonna, just gonna rotate this about a couple turns and then you can usually do it with your hands here to take it all the way out. Okay, so anyway, yeah, so we're going to work on this. We're going to take and we're going to uh, take these little screws out and we're going to pull these out and then we'll unsolder them and then we'll set those off to the side and then we'll do the new ones and I'll show you how to take this off here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take these little screws out and these are just a regular Phillips screw, but they're very, very tiny and... Um, we're just going to take these out. These are all the same length. And we're going to set them right here so we do not lose them. And we're going to, there's three of them here. And one thing to note too is um, when we put these back together, we want to make sure, here's the base. There's the serial number with the connection, so you want that facing down, so that way these will all line up. And we've got one more screw to go here. And like I said, these are the originals, which we have new old stock, so um, I consider those original speakers too, because they were made, this had to be extra stock. So this is gonna come out here, so we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this grommet here, and we're going to slide it back here so that way that gives us plenty of room to to get that speaker out maybe hang on let's see here let's try this again there we go we'll just, we'll just push it this way here there we go and you can see it's in there for a we'll clean this wire up before we stick it back in there too so you can see where that's been on there for a long time you can see that's out far enough now to where we can work on it and uh, I'm just kind of analyzing it here. So, those are, um, it's pretty decent wire on there too. I'm just gonna pull enough out here so that way we got plenty of room so we can keep this enclosure well out of the way, all this stuff. And the reason why I didn't wanna, I just didn't want, really wanna take this apart because I'm sure these are all soldered in there and I didn't want to unsolder off the board there. So we're just, this to be the easier way because I wanted to do the enclosure anyway. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna do that one. So now we're gonna do the same to this one here. We're gonna take the screws out here. And we're gonna take this one out. Like I said, there's just three screws that hold it in. Uh, this, this is all metal, this enclosure here. And like I said, these things have some weight to them. And it's, I think you can drive, these are 30 watt speakers if I'm not mistaken. Um, which, you know, for a computer that's, that's a lot of juice. And these things will crank. 
now that they'll be uh, working condition now. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to try to push this through here, get it loose. There we go. There we go. Now it's sliding. Okay, so now we can finish sliding this out here. And just keep sliding it out. Like that. And I'm just curious. I was hoping this would pop out and make it a lot easier to clean up in here, but oh well, it is what it is. But uh, what I'll do is when I have the wire out of here, I'll, I'll clean this up really good. Now probably we'll just leave these apart in the meantime. I'm not going to resolder the wires back onto these uh, on the um, on these here because <coughs> we're going to be reconing these anyway, so it'll be easier when this stuff is not attached to it. And uh, yeah, so that's it. Comes apart really easy. And then uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to get the soldering iron and we're going to take those wires off and then we'll be ready to take the other ones apart and uh, I'm, show you, I'm going to show you how we take those apart. Okay, now I'll show you my little handy dandy little tool I made here. Okay, pretty low tech but it worked quite well. I'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, so we're going <clears> to <throat> take and uh, take the wires off of here and um, just going to put a little just a tiny little flux here. Just a little bit to kind of encourage it there to come off there. I don't want to heat these up too much because you could run the risk of uh, unhooking it from internally and that would not be a good thing. So anyway, so yeah, we're going to heat this up real quick here. Set up a little bit. I'm just going to put a little solder on there, just just a little bit, and we're going to take these off here. That's off there, and we'll take this one off here. There we go, and those are off. Now we'll do the same to the other one here. Again, we're going to spill extra wire here. We're going to keep all this acryl uh, acrylic out of the way there. And uh, again, I'm going to flex this up a little bit here. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I've been in electronics for a long time. And uh, I do things the old school way, it works fine for me, but I am going to get a new soldering station because I see like uh, what uh, Steve from Mac 84 and uh, Brock's uh, creations, uh, what he has and stuff. So I like the hot air blower because um, I do have a couple boards that um, I do need to uh, possibly recap, especially on an older SE. And uh, so, yeah. So, anyway. Let's uh, take this off here. We're still, let's uh, clean this off here. All right. And I'm just gonna put a little solder on this guy right there. Just a little bit there. All right. And again, we're gonna pop it off here. There we go. And we'll take this one off. I'm going to unplug this iron for a minute. There we go. All right, so good. So we got these off here. These are the original ones out of it. And um, yeah. And then when we put the new wire in there, we'll, we'll clean some of this, just kind of lightly uh, solder wick that off a little bit so we got the hole exposed so we can run it in there. That one looks uh, same on that one too. It's easy. It's no big deal. So, okay, so I'm going to move these out of the way, and then we're going to sit 
the new ones here, and I'm going to show you how we take take those apart. All right, so I'll be back in just a minute, guys. Okay, so I got the the new old stock speakers here, and um, you can see again they're 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 new, and so anyway the connectors that come on these this is what they look like and uh, right there and they've already got the little ferrite uh, cores on them and you notice this is the little thing that goes into the block because we're going to unsolder it in there but I just want to show you what the connectors look like there okay they're pretty pretty interesting they're very tiny they're two wire connection and uh, like I said uh, this is new old stock I mean the wires look fantastic All right so we're gonna show you how to take this apart <clears throat> so what you're gonna do now this is aluminum and what you're gonna do is I made I took a fork and uh, hope you can see it there uh, right there here we go there's the fork right there and so it's gonna go try to get this lined up here so it's gonna go in these three holes right there okay you gotta get it lined up just right, you don't want to scratch it. So now it's in there, okay? Like so. No, it's not. Hold on, let me get it. Okay, there we go. Now now we're in. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate this, keep pushing on it, you're gonna rotate it. And these are in tight. Okay guys, so <clears throat> these are really, this particular pair of speakers, really hard to get this out. Um, I got this one out, I got this one broke loose, so we're going to show you here um, basically what you got to do, and like I said, I had to bend my fork here a little bit to get more leverage on it, and uh, so you got to be very careful, get them in the holes here. Um, and I got to bend this a little bit because, like I said, I bent the fork here and get these to line up. And then what you're going to do, now that they're in there, we're just going to kind of rotate this a little bit here. Okay, and then we should be able to get our fingernails on it here and then screw it the rest of the way. Let me back it up just a little bit more here. there and then I mean now it's real loose you can wind it out it's just um, you get it loose enough and then you can push this wire back through there let me just unscrew it a little bit more here and I'm just going to turn the speaker and nothing else it's easier to do it this way okay and I left these on here so that way you don't accidentally <clears throat> hit the hit the cone here to damage it. So so now we can unscrew these here. And this is just billet aluminum, and it's nothing special with it. And then we're going to push this wire in a little bit more. And what you do is you just kind of keep pulling it out here. There's that little rubber grommet in there, and you got to push it to where you, this will clear it here. There we go, got it. And then we're gonna push that in a little bit. There we go. And now, <clears throat> what we can do then, is we'll slide these back here. This gives us plenty of room to work with here. See, this is the little rubber thing I'm telling you about right here. That's the little rubber washer that keeps it all in there tight. So when that pushes down against that plastic threaded piece it keeps the cord from pulling out from the speaker and damaging it. I'm just gonna pull this down here out of the out of the way here. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these covers off. And now we're gonna take the screws out and we're going to take these wires off and then we'll have these off and then we'll be able to put it on the other wiring harness and uh, yeah so let's do that 
<clears throat> to make sure we're in frame here. Looks like we are. Okay, good. And uh, so we're gonna again. It's got the same kind of screws. We're just gonna take these out. Be very careful. Take your time. Don't be in a hurry. And uh, helps to have a magnetic screwdriver there for sure. And same thing with this one. Just get this guy out here. Okay, we'll take that one out there. <clears throat> I'm a little shaky after trying to get these things out. It's putting so much force on that thing to get the dog on uh, that that nut on the back of it off there. Okay, put that over there, keep that out of the way, and now the speaker will come out, no problemo, okay, and uh, there we go. And like I said, man, these, these got a really heavy magnet on them, they're really, like I said, these you can run a 30 watt amp on these things if you really want to crank it up. So if you're looking at the speaker from the, the bottom here, the red's the red is on the left side, the black's on the right side. Yeah. So we'll do that. So I'm just waiting for a soldering iron to heat up. We're gonna unsolder those. We will slip the wire all the way out, and then we will um, grab the uh, the other wire feed back through there and we'll solder the speaker back up. But you can see these look beautiful. I mean these are just get it up to the camera here. You can see I mean these things are just perfect. They're brand new. They're awesome. And so <clears throat> it's kind of interesting because on each speaker like the new ones here this is a uh, the first uh, first seven are the same, and then like this says B-0036, and then this one says B-0035, interesting, and then this, has, this one's a little bit different, so, but they are the same speaker. So anyway, okay, so we're going to unsolder this, so I'll get that right there. So let's, I think we're almost ready here. Okay, put the little flex on here. There, there, okay. solder on this here. Just, uh, things work a little bit. Yeah, they're hot enough. Good. <clears throat> okay. So here we go. Let's unsolder these here. Man, shaky here. Boy. Okay. Usually I'm not. Alrighty. So let's see. We'll see if we're in frame there. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're going to take the speaker wire off here. Okay. Pull it off there. Okay. Let's pull this one off first here. Okay, got that one off. And now we'll take this one off. that one off. Okay, set that one right there. Set it out there. Set this out of the way here. Yeah. 
And now we're going to take this off here. Take these screws out on this one. last screw out and then we'll let the speaker come out here we'll just kind of push some wire up here there we go and uh, now we'll take this one off too put a little flux on here everything's better with a little flux on it as I always say Here. Okay, all right. All right. So we will pull this one off first. Okay, that's off. Get the next one off here. That one's off. Oh, gotta get this in there. Not quite off all the way on this one here. Good, perfect. So now we're we're good. All right. Okay, we will pull this out here. Now we have the new enclosures. So we're gonna <coughs> remove this. We're going to bring this up here. Get this out of the way here. All right. Okay, all right. Okay, so now we're going to put the new wires back on the, um, get this all ready to go here. Excuse me. So we're gonna stick this back in here. here like so okay all right and you'll know where to keep it because that that little indentation is where that little rubber washer was so that makes it easy to put back together all right so let's <clears throat> first of all what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, clean out these holes here a little bit Okay guys, uh, <laughs> I thought I was uh, recording, but again, I was not. But anyway, I, put, I slid the speaker back in, put the screws back in, and then we slid this nut back up on it, and then we just tightened it a little bit there. So yeah, so we are ready to take these back upstairs, and we're going to plug them into the computer, and we should get a nice, nice sound out of it. So we're going to try that right now. So I'll be back in a minute, and next time you see me, we're gonna be upstairs on the computer. Okay guys, so we got the speakers hooked back up to it, and uh, got everything all ready to go. So we're gonna 
power this up here. Um, do it up here because that would have to pull it out of the outlet down there. But anyway, so we're going to plug it in. Ah, the nice apple chime, the nice bong is back. Sounds really good, really, really deep and rich there. And uh, we're going to let this uh, boot up here. And uh, we're going to be, be uh, booting up into a Tiger, I believe. Yeah, let me just see here. Let me just kind of get the screen in here. Let's see. I can get all the screen in there, right there. There we go. That way we can see what we're booting up into. Like I said, we'll be booting up into Tiger. Uh, Leopard runs really good on this ever since we did the uh, CPU upgrade to the 600 megahertz specialized board for this. And so we're getting into Tiger here. And then uh, we're going to check out the sound on it here. So it's booting up here. There we go. And we are in. All right, so you notice on the keyboard. That works really good. And we can go into the system settings here. Go on the sound. Sound effects. And you can see they sound really good. And... Alright, very good. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go into, uh, all right, we'll go into iTunes here. Okay, hold on. Get on the mouse pad here. All right. Oh, what's going on with the mouse here? Hang on here, guys. Plug it here. There we go. I don't know. Don't know what was going on there. Okay, so let's go into uh, iTunes, and uh, <clears throat> I got some YouTube music on here, so we don't get in trouble for copyright infringements because this is free. This is one of the tracks that I use when I speed things up, and you'll see how it sounds here. It's, it'll be quite loud here. So when the bass hits, you'll really hear the bass here in a minute. And then start cranking up here. So you hear the bass, it's really kicking in good there. Really, really jamming there. So it's working good there. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, I think it's a complete success here. Let's get out of iTunes here. Let's quit iTunes here. All right. So yeah. So hey, they're working fantastic, guys. And like I said, um, I'm going to put the link up on eBay. Uh, so when you go to the video and you click about more, uh, that link will come up to that direct eBay seller. It will take you right to that listing. And if you want to get a pair of these, I think, like I said, this morning I checked, he had 10 left. He sold three already. So, but like I said, 21 bucks, and that was including uh, tax and everything. Of course, depending on where you live, tax rate will be different. But yeah, uh, this is fantastic. And uh, I'm glad we got them all beautified. They're brand new speakers, brand new enclosures. And uh, yeah, so that's the way it's meant to sound now. So anyway, like I said, when I get the foam uh, 
enclosures for those so we'll refoam those speakers I will show you how to do that we'll clean up the acrylic shells I'm going to show you how to do some of that stuff and uh, yeah and then like I said I'll have another set of speakers so okay guys so uh, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech and uh, hope you enjoyed this video hope you learned a couple things I know I always learn stuff when I'm taking this stuff apart and stuff all right so you guys have a a great weekend. Today's Saturday. Have a great Sunday. Everybody be happy, healthy, and safe out there. All right? All right. Bye.